friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be giving you guys an update on my braces. It's been a couple months, so it is time to do an update. And I have some pretty exciting news. There is a possibility that I could be getting my braces off early. Hallelujah. Fingers crossed. I cannot wait to get these off and the sooner the better. The reason why I might be getting them off early is because my tooth is making really good progress. It's moving down into place. Um, I did mention, I think I mentioned in my last video that I might be getting them off early, but he just told me again this last time that I could be getting them off early. So if he just tells me that every time I go in, I'm just going to be a happy girl. <laughs> So anyways, I'm not going to bore you guys on like the details of what's been going on prior to these last few months. If you are new to my channel, then I will link my previous braces update videos down below so you guys know what's going on and you know what I'm talking about. If you've been following me for a while and you are aware of what's been going on, I don't want to bore you guys. So I will just jump right in and kind of start off from where I left off last time. So basically, my tooth is moving down, it's making really awesome progress, and next time I go in, next month, they are going to take a laser and laser away some of the gum tissue near my impacted tooth, and it's going to just open up that area, and so that the tooth is going to be more exposed, which is awesome because it's going to make it easier to move down because it's going to be less gum tissue to cut through, and it, they're also going to attach a bracket to that tooth, which is so exciting because it doesn't have a bracket on it currently. It just has a ball and then a chain to pull it down. So they're going to put a bracket on it and then put like a wire through it and everything because right now it's over like almost all the way. It's just not down. That's why you can't see it because it's not coming down. It's just moving over. So once they get the wire through and the bracket, it's going to start moving it down so you'll be able to see it and it'll be level with all of my other teeth. And um, it is unfortunately sideways. It's That's the tricky part about impacted teeth. You, don't, you never know like what they're going to come down looking like and it looks really good it's just that it's sideways so it's not a huge deal though I'm just going to straighten it out as they pull it down so that's really no problem at all and they're also next time going to attach a bracket to this tooth here my second tooth over which I am so excited because that tooth is really sideways right now because when my impacted tooth came down it kind of pushed it this one it kind of pushed it like they were hitting each other and it pushed it and kind of turned it but yeah I'm excited that I'm getting some brackets on my teeth. <laughs> then that I appointment, they're just gonna take off some brackets and kind of realign them and put them back on, which I haven't had that done yet, so that really is not a big deal. My appointments are normally like 20 minutes, maybe 30, but she said it's gonna be a long appointment next time. So I'm ready. I'm gonna take some pain medication, um, so like some Tylenol or Advil before I go, and then some afterwards. <laughs> I'll probably just relax the rest of the day, eat some ice cream and soup, and relax because it's probably gonna be pretty sensitive, the roof of my mouth, and probably going to be hurting some. Let's see, I really haven't been in a lot of pain. I will say that with my tooth moving down, now that so much of it is exposed now, it's moving in, it's moving really fast. It kind of hurts more, which is strange, I feel like. I think it only hurts more because it's moving down so fast. I don't know, I could be wrong though. Other than that, pain-wise, it's fine. Like, everything else is fine. You know, it hurts a little bit when I get a new wire. No big deal though. Um, I haven't needed to wear my rubber Bands. They have not instructed me to do so, so I'm just waiting to get those on again so that can correct my bite because my bite um, is still off. I'll show you guys when I bite down. That is it. It's still off. I still have quite a bit of an overbite, but that'll get corrected with time. They're just waiting for that tooth to come down into place. Let's see. I don't know. I feel like now that I told you that I'm getting my braces off early possibly and that my tooth is so close to being in place, I feel like I don't really have anything else to say. I will go ahead and insert pictures here so you can see what I'm talking about because it's so exciting and you guys are going to be like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy. And if you guys have an impacted tooth, you guys are going to be pretty excited that your tooth is going to move really fast too. And it's just, it's just exciting. Good times. So I'll go ahead and insert a picture. Right here, be prepared to be amazed. The first picture on the top was the day of my surgery. I bought a picture was a couple days ago. So it has been about eight months. 
when I first learned that I had an impacted tooth and that I had to, you know, get my baby tooth pulled and all that stuff, I was like, how long is it going to take for it to move into place? That was my biggest question and my biggest concern because I didn't want to be toothless for a long time. And um, they were like, you know what? Everyone's different. I was reading like blogs and or forums. Like some people say it moved in six months. Some people say it took a couple of years or like a year or two. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I, I don't like not knowing. I don't like the unknown. So not knowing how long it was gonna take my tooth, it really bothered me. So if you guys are watching this video and you're curious as to how long it's gonna take, everyone's different. But for me, I would say mine's pretty average and it's been eight months and a lot of my tooth is exposed. Nine months is when they're going to put a bracket on it. If that kind of gives you an idea. So I'm guessing it's going to be in place and everything by one year post-surgery. And I've had my braces on for 15 months now. So I'm, I'm guessing, um, I'm guessing I'll get them off. Yeah. Like around April or May, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on. Cause I feel like once that tooth is in place, everything else is going to go by so fast. I'll let you guys see what my mouth looks like from this side with my missing tooth. And the other side. Oh, look at my hair. That's so cute. Not. <laughs> and I hope you guys can see because my ring light's really bright and it's really hot. So if I look oily or sweaty, I'm sorry. I'm really hot right now. We're running this light. That's all. I know this is kind of a short video and there's not a lot of information in it, but I wanted to update you guys and let you know what's been going on and what is yet to come. So I will update you guys again in about two to three months. And by that time, oh my gosh, it's going to be such a big difference. I feel like I'm so excited. I know I've said I'm excited a lot in this video, but I am excited. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and good luck on your journey with braces. And remember that you are beautiful no matter what braces or no braces. So have a wonderful day. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye friends.